Today I'm going to show you how to convert your lawnmower's mechanical fuel pump to an electric fuel pump. Got an old Cub Cadet here from the 1980s and the mechanical fuel pump quit working. It's kind of buried under here on this Kohler engine and this thing's got a million hours on it. I've use the heck out of it and I wanted just a quick solution to keep me mowing through the summer. So what I did was instead of uh, replacing the mechanical mechanical unit I ended up finding a suitable electric fuel pump and basically bypassed the mechanical for the electric. In order to do this though you're gonna need to find a 12 volt power source that's only on when your keys turned on. So something like a multimeter or a little voltage tester will be something that you can use to, to find that wire. And if I trace back, you can see on this little cluster here is where I found a good positive wire. You've also got to ground the fuel pump, which is relatively easy to do. You can ground on the frame somewhere. I've grounded on this big grounded metal plate. Um, <clears throat> I've basically use some, in my case, I've actually welded uh, some bolts here to work as a bracket, but you don't really need to do that if you don't have a welder. You could actually just bolt it on. And I'll show you what it sounds like here. You can kind of hear a little, some little, I don't know, I'll try to get my microphone close here. So you can hear the little diaphragm coming in and out. This fuel pump's about $20. I'll put a link to this on my description. It's a low pressure fuel pump. And I put a fuel filter on the, the downstream side of the fuel pump. And the reason I put it on the downstream versus the upstream is if this diaphragm were to disintegrate, say five years down the road, 10 years down the road, I don't really wanna send all those little rubber particles into my carburetor. So I prefer to have the fuel filter down here versus on the upstream side. Um, as far as anything else with this setup, it's really, really simple. Um, I basically attached into the fuel petcock with some standard rubber fuel line. Like I said, bolted it in, um, put a filter, and then went into the same carburetor inlet as my previous mechanical fuel pump went. So hopefully this helps you out. If you like these kinds of how-to videos, make sure to click the little subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. And if you have any questions about this, um, this setup, just make sure to post them in the comments section and I'll do my best to try to answer them. Thanks for watching.